and his black and white cat. Early in the morning, just as day is dawning, he picks up all the post bags in his van. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing and the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Everybody knows his bright red van. All his friends will smile as he waves to greet them. Maybe you can never be sure there'll be knock, ring, letters through your door. <laughs> postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing and the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy Boom, 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 boom. What a lovely day, said Pat to Jess as they drove along the valley on a fine sunny morning. They came into the village and stopped at the post office as they did every day to collect the letters. Good morning, Pat called. Morning, Pat, said Mrs. Goggins. Looks like a busy day for you. Lots of letters and parcels. <laughs> well, at least it's a nice day for it. That's odd, said Mrs. Goggins. Most of the post seems to be for Katie and Tom Pottage. Ah, but of course it's their birthday. Oh, so it is, said Pat. Won't they be excited when they see all these parcels? They are lucky. I remember when I was their age, waiting for the post. Hey, I'd better be on my way. <laughs> They'll be looking out for me. Well, I'll be off. Goodbye. Boom, 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 boom. Pat was on his way. Before going to the Pottages, he had to call at the village school. Some of the children had arrived early and were playing in the schoolyard. Bill Thompson came running up to take care of the letters till the headmaster came. He always did that because he was the oldest. Oh dear! Right in a puddle. Sarah and Lucy Selby asked Pat if he was good at hopscotch because they'd just had new lines painted in the yard. Well, it's a long time since I played, said Pat, but I'll have a go. Let's see now. He was quite good at it. Whoops! Pat was enjoying the hopscotch so much he almost forgot the time. Hey, I'll have to be going. We can't have the post being late, can we? <laughs> Especially today. Bye-bye, Pat. Goodbye. turned in at Greendale Farm. Katie and Tom saw him coming and ran to meet him. They were so excited they couldn't wait to see what Pat had brought them. They're twins, you see, so it was a double birthday. Pat wished them a happy birthday, then took a letter to their mother.
Tom's present was just what he wanted. But Katie didn't seem very pleased with hers. What's up with Katie? asked Pat. Mm, she's wrong side out today, said Mrs. Pottage. She's lost Sarah Ann. Sarah Ann? Is, is that the little doll she takes to school? She takes it everywhere. She's lost without it. I don't know what we'll do if it doesn't turn up. Oh, it's sure to turn up somewhere. Trouble is, it could be anywhere. We went to see Aunt Alice yesterday and called at lots of places. She could have left it anywhere. Don't worry, I'll look for Sarah Ann, said Pat. I might come across her. I'm good at finding things, you know. <laughs> we'll get her smiling again. You'll see. Cheerio. Come on, Jess. We've work to do. Next stop was the church. The Reverend Timms heard Pat's van coming. There was a card from Cousin Joan on holiday in Mallorca. Pat told him about Katie's lost doll. Oh, she could have lost it in the church, said Reverend Timms. She always brings it. Ah oh, well, seek and thou shalt find. Let's have a look. Mind your head. anything called Pat oh yes a bump on the head at last the Reverend Timms did find something but it wasn't Sarah Ann it was a lady's glove it had the letters DT sewn inside DT said Pat Dorothy Thompson that's whose it is I'm sure I'll take it along for her she will be pleased well I hope Katie's doll turns up somewhere said the Reverend Timms. We'll just keep on looking till it does, said Pat. Thanks for helping. Cheerio. When Pat and Jess arrived at Thompson Ground, Mrs. Thompson was out with a basket, collecting the eggs. She was surprised when Pat gave her a glove with her letters. Well, I never, she said. Where did you find this? I've been looking everywhere for it. Then Pat told her about Katie's doll. I was looking in the church for it. The Reverend Tim's found your glove instead. Now let me see. Katie and her mother came to tea yesterday. She could have left her doll under a cushion. We'd better have a look. They searched everywhere. Mrs. Thompson found something, but it wasn't a doll. It was a penknife. Hey, that looks like Ted Glenn's knife. Goodness knows when he left it here, said Mrs. Thompson. Would you take it along for him? He will be pleased to have it back. Yes, I'll take it. I do hope you find Katie's doll. We'll keep looking. See you tomorrow. Cheerio. Bye-bye, Pat. What a day, said Pat to Jess. We found a glove and a penknife 
but no Sarah Ann. I wonder if there's any chance of finding her at Ted Glenn's. Ted Glenn was delighted to see his knife. He couldn't guess where Pat had found it. When Pat told him about Katie's lost doll, Ted said, hey, She was here yesterday with her mother. Uh, they brought a lamp to repair. So they went to look in Ted's workshop. didn't find the doll, but Ted found a watch that he'd forgotten he had. <laughs> Enjoying yourself, Pat. That's Miss Hubbard's, he said. She brought it to be mended ages ago. She must have forgotten all about it. Would you take it for a Pat? Certainly. I'm going that way. I hope you find the lassie's doll, said Ted. So do I, said Pat. I seem to be able to find everything else. Bye, Ted. So long, then. Miss Hubbard was shopping at Sam's mobile shop whilst Sam was enjoying a cup of tea. Miss Hubbard was surprised to see Pat. And even more surprised to see her watch. Pat told them all about Katie's lost doll, but they hadn't seen it. Poor Katie, said Pat, and on her birthday too. I know. I'll take her a box of chocolates. <laughs> That'll cheer her up. Aha! Sarah Ann. So that's where you've been hiding all this time. It's Katie's doll, said Pat. I found her when I wasn't looking for her, sitting behind the chocolates. Sam was amazed. That child gets everywhere. I'll take the chocolates anyway, said Pat. They'll make a nice birthday present. Cheerio! Here she is, Jess. Keep an eye on her. When Pat arrived at the twins' party with Sarah Ann and the chocolates, Katie gave a big smile, the first that day. Jess joined in the party. And Pat had a piece of cake. Delicious, said Pat. But it's time we were off. Bye-bye, <laughs> Pat. Bye. Goodbye, everyone. Have a good time. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. Boom, 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 bo